Hello all, this is Parhana. Welcome to my channel. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about what are the key developments in 2022 for data science, machine learning, AI, and analytics development. Okay, so in 2022, we witnessed an overgrowing cross-industry and robust adoption of AI algorithm and data science techniques, both among data citizens as well as in large organizations. Number one, digital twins. Uh, we have seen large-scale digital twins of physical processes that are complex and multi-scale, uh, such as weather and climate models, seismic phenomena, and material properties. Big companies are already involved in digital twins technology. Uh, for example, the McLaren sports car has its own digital twin. Companies like Siemens, Philips, IBM, Cisco, Bosch, and Microsoft are already miles ahead in this technology, fueling the fourth industry revolution. Number two, doing more with less. In simple terms, doing more with less means to utilize something or a situation to the maximum possible level. In 2022 was a tremendous year for the global economy. The world of data science was directly impacted as organizations began to emphasize saving money and doing more with less. These changes are created two significant trends. First, data teams begin increasing the results of machine learning, ML features, and second, new ML technologies tools that optimize the ML development processes become widespread. Uh, the agenda to do more with less will continue to be a top priority as we enter in 2023. We expect this trend to drive growth in selected investments for technologies that help automate process for the analysis and use of data, whether it's uh, for the development of ML model or advanced analytics application, platforms that help data scientists and engineers do their jobs better, faster, and with less assistance from subject matter experts will continue to be in high demand. Number three, responsible AI. One area that we have witnessed progress on this year is responsible AI in 2023 should be the year that we see accelerated governance and adoption as well as concrete framework in place to deliver what should be our united goal of responsible AI, becoming the norm for every organization. Their principle underscore fairness, transparency and exploitability, human centeredness and privacy and security. Uh, for instance, Microsoft has created its own responsible AI governance framework with help from their AI ethics and ethics in engineering and research and Office of Responsible AI Group. Uh, these two groups work together within Microsoft to expand and uphold their defined responsible AI values. Number four, in data science in past two, two to three years, the most exciting development I believe are the abundance of open source, large pre-trained deep, deep learning models and how the embedding generated from open source. Uh, the major new development in past year uh, which is 2022, his ability to apply these models, framework and embedding also for real-time use cases, such as recommendation or sentiment analysis using vector database for vector similarity, search with filtered searches. Uh, this not only extends the applications of embedding to a wide variety of real-time use cases, it also extends its accessibility to software de developers who are not data scientists or machine learning experts. It enables developers to enrich any application with eye with a few lines of code. Number five, uh, for machine learning engineering, the most exciting development in the past two to three years, I believe, is the emergence of machine learning operation or MLOps. MLOps, machine learning operation, is a set of practices for collaboration and communication between data scientists and operations professionals. Applying these practices increases the quality, simplifies the management process, and automates the deployment of machine learning and deep learning models in large scale production environments reliably and efficiently. It is easier to align models with business needs as well as the regulatory requirement. In 2022, MLOps has evolved into an independent approach uh, to ML lifecycle management. It applies to the entire lifecycle data gathering, model creation, software development lifecycle, continuous integration, continuous delivery, orchestration, deployment, health diagnosis, governance, and business metrics. The key phases of MLOps are data gathering, uh, data analysis, data transformation, model training and model development, model validation, model serving, monitoring, and retraining. Uh, number six, the most important language to learn is not Python, it's SQL. Database of all sizes are on the tier. Many workloads are moving to the cloud and powerful cloud data warehouse in particular, finally reaching a tipping point as a combination of features and price make it difficult for any company to hold out. And when data is available locally, new in-memory databases like DuckDB makes it possible to use advanced SQL-based query engine from a laptop, from a serverless function, even from the browser itself. These pervasive SQL-based tools are crowding out yesterday's heavily script approaching to data manipulated by data manipulation because they empower users to work with data where it is sits. 
rather than have to extract it, manipulate it, and reinsert it. Uh, SQL is certainly an easier language to learn than Python as well. It's a good news. It has a very basic syntax that has the sole purpose of communicating with relational databases. Uh, since a great amount of data is stored in relational databases, retrieving data using SQL query is often the first step in any data analysis project. Number seven, uh, ML and AI is just about everywhere now. In technology industry, we have received many inquiries this past year about developing ML and AI products for customers. And a company story I hear is that we have many models running in production, but we don't really understand why they work, when they will break and how to fix them. For many companies, their ML AI deployments have evolved into incredibly complex systems and the winners will not be the one who build the best and most accurate models, but the one who can manage this complexity. In particular, while it has become much much easier to build and deploy ML models, managing the underlying data has become much, much harder. Data quality, access and governance remains deep challenge for companies like to leverage ML and AI. In my experience, the key challenge facing data governance is what I call data quality mismatch. Contrary to common beliefs and the never ending complaints from data scientists that their data is of low quality, it is just not high enough quality for the ML or AI products they are trying to build and maintain today. Many companies are trying to build ML and AI solutions for more complex products using data collected from older existing and simpler products. Consequently, the quality of this older data is only good enough for the product they, this data was originally designed for. For example, data cannot simply move from a low quality reporting products and re reuse in a high performance ML products without expecting to find numerous and exhausting data quality issues and issues that had no material impacts on the original reporting system. Number eight, uh, once dominated by public sector applications giving their all over access to the data, the commercial sector saw dozens of spatial analysis applications moved into production in 2022. Uh, this means that computing facilities can be accessed from anywhere over the network using any sort of thin or thick client. For example, smartphones, tablets, laptops, personal com computers, and so on. Uh, cost of sensors and devices that generate um, uh, geospatial data is falling rapidly with corresponding proliferation. The cost of location-enabled chips for cellular connectivity has declined by 70% over the past six years. Uh, cost of launching a satellite have fallen sharply over the past decade on a per kilogram basis, uh, meaning more data collecting satellite launches. The expansion of 5G network is aiding in the collection of greater volumes of geospatial data. The result in that 2022 connected devices capable of sharing their location generated over 15 zettabyte of data, making location enriched sensor data uh, the fastest growing kind of data in the world. In number nine, uh, in 2022, we witnessed an ever-growing cross-industry and robust adoption of AI algorithm and data science techniques, both among data citizens as well as in large organizations. Uh, traditionally, uh, one-man business such as physicians, teachers, accountants, consultants, auditors, lawyers, and many other professionals figure understood the value of data and embraced a data-informed culture to innovate and stay competitive. To close the gap, reduce upscaling cost, idle time and money, and leverage the power of AI-driven solutions, the adoption of low-code, no-code data science platform may become more prominent than ever before. Uh, through intuitive visual interfaces, uh, these platforms enable data citizens to build data workflows and collaborate with software experts and data scientists, triggering a positive snowball effect on their job performance. On the other side of the spectrum, organization that started the transition to data-driven decision-making in the previous year consolidated and expanded the implementation of advanced AI solutions in 2022. With AI maturity came uh, the end for reliable deployment, greater de uh, development agility and improved operational efficiency, triggering the adoption of CI-CD pro procedures and best practices to automatically uh, productionize data science for constant development, testing, integration, Deploy development, uh, deployment, monitoring, and versioning. AI mature organization increasingly relied on intuitive SAS technology to strengthen team collaboration, minimize IT bottlenecks with centralized administration and data governance, and scale to empower any number of users running any number of workflows in a single environment. The higher complexity and diversification of data science operation sharpened the standardization of roles in the analytic industry. In 2022, organization abandoned the inherently enormous uh, concepts of the unicorn data scientists and moved towards different data professional figures and standardized data roles. Uh, data curators, data engineers, data scientists, data analytics, automation specialists, 
ML engineers, just to name a few, become recognized job titles, each with a specific education background and set of skills. Uh, finally, the AI maturity of organization and the appearing on the scene of data citizens has favored a number of data literacy initiatives. Following this need and considering the post-COVID scenario, the number of uh, courses, events, books, videos and other initiatives searched, especially in the second half of 2022, to keep up with the demand. All of this together uh, creates a strong incentive for more conservative companies to heavily invest in these practices, which are more often than not accelerated by employees eager for more automation, more analytics and more insights. Number 10. Uh, this year, we witnessed many layoff and resignation of data analytics professionals across all levels and companies. Uh, many companies are working hard to retain top talent, investing in training programs and providing employees with growth opportunities. Others have cut down on spending and are holding back on investing in their people in front of um, in fear of an economic uh, downtime. In addition to economic pressure, tech companies are facing uh, tough decisions around letting their employees uh, work remotely versus bringing them back in the office at least part time. Uh, those that provide their right balance of flexibility tend to win the competition for the top talent. Uh, top four tech firms, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, based in USA, announced over 97,000 top cuts in 2022, according to the consulting firm Challenger. Uh, however, the demand for data analytics, data science, and AI ML professionals hold strong as we face an increased reliance on AI to carry out repetitive tasks, as well as even more data to analyze than we had last year. One thing I'm noticing is that we are still seeing a disconnect between the supply of talent available. The majorities are non-senior data scientists, data engineers, and a demand for senior data professionals that can fill the need of the hiring companies. I can't wait to see what the new year brings. Number 11. Automating ML workflow will, be, uh, workflow will become more essential. Uh, although we have seen plenty of top technology companies announcing layoff in later part of 2022, it's likely none of these companies are laying off their most talented machine learning personnel. However, to fill the void of few people on deeply technical teams, companies will have to lean even further into automation to keep productivity up and ensure projects reach completion. We expect to also um, see companies that use ML technologies put more system into place to monitor and govern performance and make more data-driven decisions on how to manage ML or data science teams. With clearly defined goals, these te technical teams will have to be more KPI-centric so leadership can have a more in-depth understanding of machine learning's ROI. Gone are the days of ambiguous benchmark for ML. Number 12. Hoarding ML talent is over. Since ML and AI has become a more common technology in the latest, uh, in the last decade, many big uh, tech companies began hiring these type of workers because they could handle the financial cost and keep them away from competitors, not necessarily because they were needed. From this perspective, it's not surprising to see so many ML workers being laid off considering the surplus within large companies. However, as the era of ML talent folding ends, it could be a new wave of innovation and opportunities for a startup. With so much talent now looking for work, we will likely see many of these folks trickle out of being tech and into small and medium-sized business or startups. Number 13. Everyone an artist with generative AI. In 2022, there were many cutting-edge developments in area of ML ops tooling, uh, generative arts, large language models, and speech recognition. OpenAI and DeepMind where the, are the forefront of AI development. They are always coming up with the state of the art model, which uh, transformed the whole industry. Uh, generate for the generative art, uh, DALI 2 was introduced by OpenAI and soon after we have seen people using natural languages to generate high quality art. It was just amazing. Soon after its launch, we saw that DALI 2 open source version, stable diffusion for generative art. It allows people to understand the model architect architecture and come up with a unique solution such as diffuse the rest, runway in painting and stable diffusion depth to image. Furthermore, we have seen multiple companies integrate generative art into their ecosystem. Both stable diffusion and DALI 2 are mainstream now. Number 14, MLOps tooling. In the past, there were a uh, limited open source tool available for us to smoothly deploy the models into production. Either we have to use DevOps tool or come up with a unique solution. There was no one step so no there was no one stop solution. We have to use multiple ML ops tools for experiment tracking, metadata management, ML pipelines data and pipeline versioning and model monitoring. It has all changed in 2022. 
the product based companies are in, are integrating more features for data scientists and machine learning engineers to perform all of the ml ops task on one platform such as dashub uh, qflow and bento ml you will see more companies are targeting data scientists and ml engineers instead of developers and software engineers the result of these technologies are all, are all quite expressive um, and impressive in their own right uh, for a long time it seems like this would be the biggest story of 2022 so far uh, number 15 in the end open ai has introduced chat gpt which is better uh, than gpt3 it was optimized for conversation and you will see a lot of tweets and posts praising how accurately gpt has responded to the question it's not difficult to see however how one could consider chat gpt the biggest development in the fields of data science machine learning ai and analytics for 2022 sure it's built on the uh, shoulders of giants such as gpt3 but that makes it no less impressive i could link to some of the various interesting results of chats which is uh, with the model but you'll likely see many yourself people have used it as a productivity tool an assistant a replacement for google a code reviewer and for all types of other scenario in my judgment there are just no getting around the fact that chat gpt emerged late in the year to steal the spotlight regarding top development of 2022 uh, here i take a second and ask chat gpt uh that uh, note that which we asked to wait on, on the top development of 2022 what do you think were the key development of data science machine learning ai analytics development uh stands for 2022 uh here is a response from that uh i'm sorry but my knowledge cut off is 2021 so i'm unable to provide information about developments in 2022 however i can tell you about some key development in data science machine learning ai and analytics that have occurred in the past Some examples include the development of deep learning techniques, the increasing use of big data and cloud computing in machine learning and AI applications, the rise of automation and machine learning in business and industry, and the increasing use of data analytics in a variety of fields. There were a number of significant development in the field of data science, machine learning, AI analytics in 2021. Some examples include continuous growth and development of deep learning techniques including the use of transformers and other advanced architecture for natural language processing and computer vision tasks. Number 2 the increasing adoption of machine learning and AI in various industries including finance healthcare and e-commerce number 3 the emergence of edge computing as a key enable for the deployment of AI and machine learning models in resource constrained environment number 4 the increasing use of explainable AI methods to improve the interoperability interoperability and accountability of machine learning model number 5 the development of new tools and framework for data management and analysis such as dask and wix which allow for the efficient processing of large data sets Number 6 the growing importance of data privacy and security leading to the development of new techniques for pro- for protecting sensitive data and preventing data breaches number 7 the increasing use of data analytics in a variety of fields including marketing supply chain management and cybersecurity thank you for listening